All right, guys. Today we're out here on the Provo River. Sorry, let me fix the camera. We're out here on the Provo River. We're gonna do some fly fishing. Me and Michael out out here. We went to the Mid Provo River, and yeah, gonna see if we can't catch some fish down here. I think Michael just got a knot, unfortunately, but yeah, um, I'm gonna head down just over here and start trying to fly fish. I'm not very good at fly fishing. Personally, I think I suck just because I've only ever caught one or two fish and it was totally by accident. So I'm gonna come down this way and we'll get fish in here. It looks like a good little spot right here. So yeah, we'll get set up. maybe 30 minutes or so. I'm not having any luck in the spot that I'm at right here. As you can see, it's a pretty beautiful lake, awesome spot, or lake, river. It's the Provo River. Beautiful spot. Michael, I don't think, has had any luck down here either, and he's just down, he was over here in this spot over here, but he's gone down the river to try a new spot, so I think I'm gonna start walking down that way and maybe see if I can find a spot where I can cross the river, so check in with you guys in just a sec. I don't know if you guys can see him, but Michael's just down there. Looks like he's playing in the rocks. There's a cool house right back there too. Just check out the landscape we got right here. The beautiful river, houses, the mountains in the background, all this awesomeness. So I'm gonna try to throw some casts here. Just watch how horrible I am at this. <laughs> As you guys can see, I'm not having very much luck, so I'm gonna try to do this again here in just a second. We'll probably fast forward through all that crap we just did a second ago, but I think Michael's across the stream down there is headed over to the other side, so let's go check in with him and see how he's doing. So we're on the middle Provo, right below Jordan Al, and uh, it's Tuesday, March 13th. I believe so. And uh, we were not expecting this much people out here. Uh, first spot, just too many people not getting any fish, so we're gonna change spots and head to uh, another spot. A little more upriver, so hopefully we get some fish. So Michael's fishing here, casting. Or she over here. So we're just out here having a relaxing day fishing. That other spot wasn't working out too well, like Michael said, so we decided to come run up here, up river a little bit, and see if it's any better up here. I'm thinking about switching out my midge I had on there for like a streamer or something. I don't know. I don't really know what's in season. I've just barely started learning about fly fishing, so. something else on here in just a second and give it another shot. So as soon as I turned the camera off, Michael got one. Mm. 
Uh, sorry about the cup of camera work. Hey. There it is. Got himself one. Nice. Little trout? Little brown trout. Feel the hook by the nose. So let's zoom out and I'll come down there real quick. Hooked him right in the nose. What are you using? Uh, stomach pump. Huh? Uh, stomach pump to see what they're eating. Yeah. So you stick that little tube down the end of their throat and it's got a little suction thing to see what they got. There he goes. Happy fish. Catch and release. Oh, your rod's falling. So what I got on? Cool. So I'll try my midge down here and see if it's working. Cool. Michael got one. What do you? Finally. Yeah. Took a minute, but we'll find them. So Michael got another one. Hadn't even had a chance to get in the water yet, and he got one. What kind of trout is that one? Same thing, brown trout. Another little brown trout, and he's going to stomach pump that one also to see what they're eating. Yep. There it goes. A couple more midges and some green dollar type pumps. Whoops. Yep, so. You can see the. Stuff on his hand there. Get the little stomach pump to figure out what they're eating, and then put whatever that fly is on your rod, and hopefully get some. So I have a midge on my rod right now. I'm gonna try to catch a fish. Hopefully I can get one. We'll get set up here again. So we came out here to a different spot of the river. Michael set me up with the mop fly. It's literally made out of parts of a mop and fly tying stuff. I don't know anything about fly tying. Michael knows all about it, but I'm gonna try fishing this spot of the river right here behind me and see if I can't catch anything. So check in with you guys if I do. Or if Michael does, either one.
think of these fishing videos? Are they pretty cool or do you guys think we should do more like backpacking and camping videos or we can always come do more fishing videos? Michael's an avid fisherman and I'm trying to learn how to be. I got a new set of waders and some boots and everything I need pretty much to go fly fishing and I just need to learn how to do it better. But Michael has been fly fishing for a long time so he's caught me like four or five fish today. I haven't gotten even a bite that I know of. So, he's got the dry fly on right now. And he's... <laughs> he's trying to get... Just some of the fish are coming up on the water here and they're rising for the, for the flies and stuff. I'll try to see if I can get any cool pictures of it. But there's also right over this way I'll show you guys real quick. There's a really cool little pool. Pool of water, all that right there. I think it'd be a good spot where it's a little bit deeper. You might be able to get one of the wet flies a little deeper. So I might grab my pole and try that. I think Michael's switching up his stuff right now. While Michael tries to get this fish, he's been trying to get for a minute. I'm gonna prepare some wood and maybe build a little fire. I did bring my knife and my saw. I used the saw to cut down the dead thing that was just on a fallen tree over there. So take it and break all this stuff up.
I guess we have to leave soon, so we're not going to start the fire, so. That's okay, though. I did it. I started fire. A knife, a ferro rod, and a saw. It's pretty easy. Ferro. Ferro. This is the knife I have. It's the Benchmade Bushcrafter. Got a little bit of the scarring on it from the thing, but if you take it and just wipe it off, it will just rub right off on there. I really, really like this knife for bushcrafting. I really just got, I got another one just barely too. It's actually a custom knife made by my friend Braxton. It has the ferro rod holder in the bottom here. And he does custom made knives to order blacksmith, custom blacksmith knives. So it's pretty cool. I got one made and I'm learning how to make one and I should be able to show you the guys that soon. And the other tool I use to start the fire is a silky gone boy. If you guys haven't heard of these saws or used these saws, they only cut on the pull stroke, which is kind of cool. So when you're Cutting don't push too hard forward or you can get a nasty bend or something in it and it can help, it can actually break the blade of the saw. If you know they only cut on the pull stroke, it's really easy, they cut super fast and they stay sharp forever. So, looks like we're gonna start getting packed out of here. It's good to come hang out with you guys for a while today. Hang out with Michael, do some fishing. Yeah, thanks guys for watching, we'll see you next time.